This has been a vision of mine for many years and we started work on this back in 2011, 2012. Uh, we've employed a very high level consultant to help work with us and we've created uh, an invitation to tender document that highlighted the kind of machinery automation that we wanted to use and the kind of technology that was behind that. I'm very pleased to say that logistics were the outright winners on that and this wasn't just about pricing, this was about understanding the very complex requirements that a pharmacy needs needs and all of that needed to be understood before we could move into how we created the technology to support that. What's very interesting also is that the government are now firmly behind this model of supplying medicines to patients. And have only recently brought out their new strategy that has certainly recommended that patients should have the choice of being able to order their prescription online and have it delivered. It's all about patient choice. Like all projects, and especially this one that's so sophisticated and has never been achieved before, there's going to be things that you haven't planned for or you haven't put into your functional specifications. Um, we've worked very closely with Logistics. And there have been variations to our orders and there have been things that uh, we weren't aware that we were going to need. Uh, we've reacted to that very uh, with, with, with great agility. I think from, from the top down, from Jerry, the, the managing director, to the people involved in the project, I was always very impressed by how we work together and so what we had here is a marrying up of two sets of professionals you know the pharmacy with their pharmacy expertise knew what they wanted to create logistics with their uh, engineering and logistics capability and it was a very good marriage that delivered a, a unique facility that's going to revolutionize how patients can access their medicines moving forward.